want to create micro animations like this and you don't know how well in this video i'm gonna teach you how to design stuff like this in figma outside of figma with ready assets so you don't have to go ahead and design everything by prototype and we'll screen record it <laughs> hello work is found Welcome to my channel, my name is Mia and this is Mirror Kiss and today we're gonna talk about micro animations, five different ways that you can achieve designing really cool micro animations and micro interactions for a platform that you've designed for a mock-up and stuff like that. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and give a thumbs up to this video. Micro interactions are events which have one main task, a single purpose, and they're found all over your device and within apps. Their purpose is to delight the user to create a moment that is engaging, welcoming, and dare we say, human. You have been seeing micro interactions all over your different applications when you swipe to delete something, when you hold down to share something, and all stuff like that. So, why should we actually use them? The best thing is that we can communicate information in a more interactive way, in a more engaging way, and some way that it actually interacts attention of the user. Second thing is interactive engagement. So micro interactions are the best way to interact with the user within an app and actually make that experience joyful. The third thing is that directing user attentions. Whenever animations happening, I always say that when something's moving, it costs your attention. So this this is another reason and the final question is how to use them to improve our design so basically wherever you feel like you need to explain something and for example something isn't obvious enough that is where you need to add micro interactions of what's happening adding different statuses and stuff like that but we're gonna dig deep in four different platforms and four different resources of micro interactions that you can use that makes your life hella easier. So the first thing is actually trendy micro interactions Figma community file. So they have 10 examples that skews Figma's prototyping power. So they all have all this information here. And then obviously the interactions. So if you just click on it and preview it, you're gonna see how this is super helpful than just a button without any states so you're gonna click on that it's uploading and let's see it's uploaded your file is there and that's it if it was for me i would probably add a place to like delete that file or add a new one but this is just one file so this file is full of these interactions you see like they actually added an interaction for a whole spotify page so glow on hover expandable fab okay twitter like animation that's nice moral cta amazing pulse effect wow this is actually really cool yeah linear scroll animation everything about this is like really good they actually created linear's website scroll animation so that should be cool yeah this file is full of education too just click on prototype and like check out what they were doing here and like learn the prototype of these perfect components as well the second one is called ui micro interactions with how to set it up again it is a community file they have how to do it which teaches you which is awesome and then they have all these components for micro interactions which are the loaders again loading toggle checkbox different checkbox radio button simple buttons i think this should be a disabled button and drop downs these are again really good examples the next one is called micro interactions with prototyping it's basically for an app so you can see again how someone creates micro interactions for the app of themselves again you can preview everything here see like how it actually works so for example they have hover state that shows how much people okay this is fun so that's that's cool that's cool i guess these are all different types of 
interactions that they have here some of them are really fun yeah this is the fun and the next fun obviously i'll be linking these ones in the descriptions and the next one that i actually love and adore is jitter i've been using this for this past few weeks like a lot i've used this for one of my designs i use they have this thing with the ui elements i have used this one and like as you can see they have all these beautiful micro interactions and like i absolutely love this and like this is the best platform ever and it's actually good for creating mock-ups they have the free plan they have the paid plan if you want so these are all really good and i'm using the ui elements a lot now the ui elements and templates this one Ooh. search for one i used it a lot so when you actually click on these the whole experience is like really easy you can change anything you want here you can add new assets and it's like amazing and if you don't want to use all these things that i sent you and you want to be a little bit more hands-in and like work a little bit much don't be lazy you can actually use a principle origami studio and protopie and then if you're really good with after effects you can create all these animations in after effects as well but like jitter is awesome too you can actually start doing something from scratch and you can actually import your designs from figma as well and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye